Six to shoot. Murray on Connaughton. Trying to get by. Two to shoot. Murray lets it go. Yes! Well, Jamal Murray shaking and baking. So hands it to Donovan. Step back oh, wow. three. Up. Burn! Okay, Donovan. Put that one on the highlight reel. Wonder. Got it! At the buzzer! Devin Booker has done it again! Tatum drives George right there. Tatum gets a wide open look and knocks it down. Jason Tatum ties the game. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Great Bears Podcast. It's your boy Mo Prof in the building. And as always, I got my big little bro in the house, T Prof. I got my man Seth. You guys know him as Sojo. And of course, we got everybody's favorite. My man Keith, KJ, the antithesis. What's good, fellas? What's up, what big bro? Yes, What's happening? Y'all know how we start this thing every show. Big little bro, T Pop. How'd you spend your week and what you sipping on? I spent my week super duper happy because I won my first fantasy football game. I was very ecstatic because my team was awesome and I'm going to win the chip because Mo won it last year. So to celebrate my win, I uh, poured me a little bit of pineapple Ciroc mixed with pineapple Ciroc and ice. <laughs> That sounds delicious, bro. And I'm glad you uh, incorporated the fact that I'm the champ. Uh, my man, <laughs> so last year. <laughs> my man, so Joe. <laughs> How did you spend your week of what you're sipping on? The KJ, that was not after the bell. He called me. <laughs> <laughs> so what's crazy is T brought up fantasy football, and this might be the first time ever in fantasy football that I tied in a game. Tied. I've never done that before. It's crazy. Never seen it. Somehow I tied. Also happy, though, on the football note that my Chicago Bears ended up with a victory. Mitchell Trubisky showed that he's got a little bit of an arm through that nice pass to the corner and got that touchdown for the win. So it was a happy week for me in terms of football. Man, what you sipping on? And, I, <laughs> and, what, I'm sipping, <laughs> and what I'm sipping on in my giant Syracuse cup here uh, is a little vodka and drank. <laughs> nice. A little, a little Yo, there go nice. the white two pop. <laughs> <laughs> Hit the horn. <laughs> My man KJ Keith, the antithesis. How you spend your week, bro? What you sipping on? I spent my week ignoring the Giants and Jets. <laughs> 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 and I'm sipping on dark liquor. Y'all can oh. fucking imagine what it is, but it's dark liquor, and that's all that matters. <laughs> Mo P, to my man, to my man, to my main man. What you drink? Well, how'd you spend your week and what you sipping on? I'm so glad you didn't throw it into anybody this week. I get a week off. But uh, <laughs> you know what? I just spent my week trying to uh want to try that Travis Scott burger. That's it. I hope it looked delicious <laughs> on the commercial. I want to try the Travis Scott burger. <laughs> most, most still dreaming about bread. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, and, <laughs> and for those of you guys that don't know, I've been doing a modified keto. So, yes, I've been dreaming about bread. Uh, but what I'm not dreaming about is what I'm sipping on because I'm actually sipping. Uh, my man KJ always tells me a drink shouldn't have more than three ingredients and ice is an ingredient. I am sipping a drink of coconut rum and ice. So those are my ingredients. Yeah. <laughs> Period. Nice. So, so cheers. Fellas, fellas, have a great one. Yes. Fellas, let's get this one in. And Grey Bears Nation, of course, we've got another special episode for you guys. You guys know we love the games. we got another episode of Grey Bears Games. And today we got an episode of Moe's Start Bench Cut, Who's Next Edition. And we're about to throw some heavyweights at you guys. And to switch it up a little bit, it's Start Bench Cut Cut. So we got to get rid of two people. And the names that we're throwing at you are Devin Booker, Ooh. Jason Tatum, Ooh. Jamal Murray Ooh. and Donovan Mitchell. Ah. Yeah, we coming ah. for it. And Heavy you better head. be ready with your ammunition. Mm. And since we always ready for this start, bench, cut, cut, T, I'm coming at you. Big little bro. <laughs> start, <laughs> bench, cut, cut. Who's next edition? It's got to be you. It's got to be you. Why does it always got to be me? When we start these games. Yeah, my bad, bro. I did not mean to come at you first. It just happened that way. Don't be mad, Twan. (laughs) Hey, you know what, though? I feel like this is where where a lot of your gems have been dropped. So, you know, you got this. You built for this. I get it, man. It's nice to sit in the back, though, and be able to absorb some information. Uh, I got you next time, bro. Don't worry about it. This is tough. This one was tough. I think the one for me that was the easiest is who you start, who I'm starting. 
Jason Tatum for me is the is the clear starter. He is the one out of this group of four that I believe uh, is right there at the edge currently right now of being a superstar. Two way player. He's the star of Boston. He's the engine that makes him go. Uh, he's got that switch when he needs to turn it up a notch. Kind of, I think Mo was talking about how, like, uh, those star players he was mentioning before in the playoffs kind of ramp it up for the playoffs. His play in the playoffs has been excellent. Like, all of it isn't 40, 50 points a game, but his impact on the game has been huge. Um, so, for that, those reasons, I'm going with Tatum. After Tatum, it gets <laughs> tough between two players. So, I'll go to the one player who I'm going to cut. The one player who I wouldn't put in this mix right now is Jamal Murray. Currently right now, he's playing lights out and he's putting Denver on his back and he's balling. He's doing this thing. But when I compare his resume and where his trajectory might be compared to a Devin Booker or a Spider Mitchell, right now, currently, he right now he would be outside of that uh outside of that tier for me. These next two gets really, 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 really tough. <laughs> really tough. Spider and Devin, both of them came to the to the bubble, man, and said, Hey, I'm here. I feel like I could be that superstar. Now, which one do I believe will get there first or will have a better career? Who I'm taking? Who you taking? That's why we're here. That's kind of, <laughs> that's kind of why we're doing this. <laughs> that's the point of all can, of this. Can I, I can't go the Sojo route and kind of go back and forth and say, <laughs> no. Nah. Man, would you cut somebody else and bench somebody and stop? So <laughs> I, am, I am benching Devin Booker. And I am cutting... Donovan Mitchell. Oh, it pains me to do it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, was, it was tough. <laughs> you didn't. You didn't say that with a lot of bass in your voice. Bro. It right. was tough. No, no, no. Th th those were the two that are were so close to me. For me, it was almost kind of almost like flipping a coin. I give the mm -hmm. edge to Devin Booker just because I believe Devin Booker believes he's a superstar where Donovan Mitchell was trying to like get there. I think in Devin Booker's mind, he's already there. I'm a star. I'm in this league. I'm. I'm one of the top 10 in the league. I'm putting Phoenix on the back. Like, I think that's where Devin Booker is at. I think Donovan Mitchell is more of a kind of, I'm a team player. He can ramp it up. Like, he did show it when they was playing Denver, but I feel like he's still in that team mode where he's not really trying to go get it, and I feel like Devin Booker is trying to get it. So uh, we, hear, we hear you, bro. We got you. <laughs> you, you don't believe you don't believe in your pick, so you going in circles right now. No, with your bullshit it, it was ass. tough. So, uh, thank so, you. Well so okay. you know, you know what? Every now and then, that punch after the bell works. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so to move, so to move on. Tatum starting. <laughs> Goodbye, that, T. We already got it. We know right, I'm, go, I'm done. We'll close our shop. <laughs> K, done. KJ, who you got? Star bench cut cut. <laughs> hey, hey, look, look, look. I got, I got to I got to cut somebody right off the bat. And it's rough to do, but I got to cut Jamal Murray. And the reason why I cut Jamal Murray is because I just don't buy it. Yes, you're putting up a whole <laughs> bunch of points, but you know what? You're still short. You know what? You're still, you, you know, uh, you know what? I'm, I'm not buying it. I, I, hey, I, I can't, I can't explain why you want to say it's irrational. Maybe it's irrational even. I don't know. Oh, rational hate. <laughs> no, I ain't gonna say it's hate just yet, but I have, I, I, I don't buy it. I, I just, I'm sorry. Well, Jamal I don't, I don't, Murray's taller, but you mentioned short though, bro. Jamal Murray's three inches taller than Donovan Mitchell. Okay, uh, Donovan Mitchell gets cut next. <laughs> <laughs> okay, they're both they asses. You can get it too, D. Mitch. And you know what? I like, I like, I like D. Mitch. But here's the reason why I said it. Here's the reason why he gets cut too, is because you know what? You said next. You said who's next edition? Donovan Mitchell is here now. I think he's balling. I think he's 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 good. I just don't know if he's his his position has got to be point guard in this league. I don't think he's a two guard in this league, and I don't think he has point guard mentality. So uh, as much as I love D. Mitch, I'm the one that said D. Mitch was going to be the best player in that series. Uh, you know what? So as much as I love D. Mitch, bye, see ya. And now we get into the two people who I start and who I bench. You know what? I am going to remember. Remember, you said who is next. Okay. All okay. right. So. What I believe on again, bro. What's the next? Yeah, he on that. He on that dark liquor. That's why he on that <laughs> I'm dark. On, liquor. I'm, on, I'm on some serious dark liquor. I'm on some Uncle Ernest, and I'm sipping it. Uncle Nears. Uh oh, see, 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 <laughs> see, see. I'm on that Uncle Nears. Uncle Ernest. Uncle Nears. God damn it! Don't judge me. <laughs> One of your uncles. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but I'm sipping that dark liquor. So I, I, honestly, I'm, I'm I'm still debating, which is why I'm talking in circles because I don't know who I want to start. This man about. just criticized me for talking in circles. <laughs> At least I admitted it, and now he's talking in circles. Goddamn it! I admitted it. Ain't that something? 
Ain't that some shit, yo? He over there talking in circles. Hey, hey T, he hit yeah. you with an impromptu first take. Like, he got yeah. on your back and was like, Max, you talk too much. Give me the damn mic. <laughs> yeah, pre- yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> Just so you can talk too damn KJ, much. KJ, who the hell are you starting in business? Fuck it, I'm, start, I'm starting, uh, I'm starting, uh, I'm starting Devin Booker. Even though I really don't buy that, you know what? Because the dude... <laughs> I'm starting Devin Booker and I'm benching Jason Tatum. Why? Because I'm not starting a damn Celtic. Screw that. I'm a Knicks fan. <laughs> now I'm not that, starting now no that, Celtic. That's irrational hate. Yes, it is. <laughs> but I'm not starting no Celtic. I'm a Knicks fan. So I'm starting Devin Booker, even though the dude got a Kardashian and never made the playoffs. I'm starting Devin Booker and I'm benching <laughs> Devin Booker uh, and I'm, I'm benching Jason Tatum. <laughs> <laughs> that is exactly the analysis people want from us. I love that, bro. <laughs> so, they, love so, Joe, your, your turn. I got nothing else. I, I love I've been drinking. I love. I've been I, drinking. <laughs> I love everything that just happened right there. It's actually hard to follow, to be quite honest. I mean, it was that was amazing. Uh, T, shout out to you for going first, man. This is difficult. Um, you know, these four guys that we have up here. That's why it's so tough. I mean, these guys all of them have potential to be next. So it's a really, you know, kind of tough decision when you break it down. But for me, I'm going to go with the two players that I would cut first. So the two players that I would cut, the first one is Jamal Murray. I agree with you. Damn, damn, Jamal. <laughs> hey, hey, shout out Jamal yeah. Murray. Yeah. What you, yeah. What, what, Jamal Murray sitting there like, what I got to do? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what I got to yeah. do? He's what I got to do? He scored almost 150 points in three games and was like, I'm the first person cut, huh? Yeah. Okay. So, okay. so, uh, so scoring so, 50 don't hit the same. <laughs> oh, here, we, here we go. Here we go. What I, one of the things that I looked at, though, was what they've done in their career so far. So Jamal Murray, he started in 16, 17. And if you kind of look at his overall, you know, stats, it, it, things change over time. But in terms of his career stats, they're not super mind blowing. He's gone off in the playoffs. The playoffs for me is just too small of a window to say, okay, this guy's the next guy. It's just not enough time for me. So that's why I'm cutting Jamal Murray. Um, The second guy that I'm cutting is Devin Booker. And the only reason I'm saying Devin Booker is because I've said it before. I've said this before. Sometimes players play fall victim to the team that they're on and or the coach that is coaching them. Those two things like lie in tandem sometimes. And Devin Booker is hurt by the playing for the Phoenix Suns. If he played on almost any other team, not well, there's other teams, we know that, but a lot of other a lot of other teams in the in the NBA, I wouldn't have Devin Booker on as a cut. He gets hurt by playing for the Phoenix Suns. Devin Booker started in 2015. His his statistics so- you cutting Devin Booker because of Ricky Rubio and DeAndre Ayton? <laughs> yeah, look, he gets hurt. Look, so what are what are the Phoenix Suns? What are the Phoenix Suns? We're enamored because they went undefeated in the bubble, and I give them credit for that. But 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 what is what is what is Phoenix going to do in the long term? Are you picking Phoenix to finish in the top eight in the, in the West next year? You depend on the Phoenix Suns. Exactly. I don't know if you do. <laughs> I don't point. I don't know if you do pick them to finish in the top eight in the West. All right. So if you look at that now, okay, Devin Booker is going to rock out and have all these amazing stats. He's he's an unbelievable individual player, but part of who's got next, you have to be able to get in the playoffs and you have to be able to make runs. So we see the ch- we I see the chase. I have not seen T this man in a long time. No, he got so a cape we, off of Devin Booker. That no, but hold on. Unbelievable. So Go we ahead, need to change this to start bench cut cut Denver, Boston. Uh, Phoenix and like, come on, man! You're no. holding the Phoenix Suns against Devin Booker. It, it's yeah, fair I enough like, that you cut him. Fair yeah, enough, but you, honestly, you got of, to right. Some of it, it the yeah. part of the piece that I look at is this: that it's the team that he's playing on. It's for the Phoenix Suns. The Phoenix Suns don't have enough pieces to make the playoffs. They don't have the right. They don't. They don't have the right coach. They just don't. So that means Jamal Murray should be starting. He's still the one in the playoffs right now. They balling. <laughs> they about to beat the team. Jamal Murray needs to be starting. No, he's too short, like KJ said. So oh, to, my God. Oh, so, so on to my next. So on to my next one. All right, so those are the two guys that I'm going to cut. The guy I'm benching is Donovan Mitchell. I'm benching Donovan Mitchell. I think Donovan Mitchell's trajectory uh, throughout his career and what he showed 
in the, in these playoffs has got him kind of standing on that line of crossing over to superstar. Um, he has shown that he wants to be the guy. He's not afraid of taking big shots and he's going to go hard every single time he gets in there. I like the way he plays. So I'm benching him and I'm starting Jason Tatum. And the reason why I'm starting Jason Tatum T, you mentioned that he's not afraid to step up in the big moments and make big shots. We saw that just recently in the in Celtics last game. And the other reason is if you look at him, he's a 6'8 guard that can score it in multiple ways, many, many different ways. And he's a two-way player. He's, he's, also, he's also a very, very good defender. He average, he, he, he's a very good defender. He's long. He averages a, a good amount of defensive rebounds for his position. <laughs> And I think he's the next guy. Are you bored uh, now, KJ? That we're going to put. Oh, I'm sorry. We're still recording. I'm sorry. That we're going to put. I didn't realize that, we we're still recording. I'm sorry. That we're going to put in that list of superstars. So while you guys continue to drink and went off the freaking rails, at least I provided a little bit of an insight on, on some of my picks. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> you know what? I'm, I'm going to let you rock on this whole Jason Tatum because we because we pressed for time and we still got to get to Mo P. So I'm gonna let you rock, but I'm gonna rip your Jason Tatum to shreds next episode. Wait till we, <laughs> hey, hey, wait till we get to next episode. I'm tearing your Jason Tatum pick apart. So Joe, they are oh, coming at your neck. I know, and Nathan I thought Booker, I thought I thought it was Jason pretty Tatum. down the middle, straightforward. But damn, they're coming for me. So I love it. I wait, love wait. it. So Joe, they told you your takes were wrong. <laughs> he was about to come at your neck. <laughs> Keith is willing to wait a whole episode to get his Jason Tatum take right on. Like, it's you because get, of that. Whew. It's that drink he got in that cup, man. You better get your man, that is. vest ready. I love wow, it. You better come right. I love it. <laughs> I don't know how to follow any of that. I almost changed my shit. Let me get out the way. I'm cutting Jamal Murray. I almost changed it because I felt bad for him. But damn, we made it four for four. <laughs> it's like shit. But just we to give some facts. Though, we all said J Jamal Murray needs more people. Yeah, 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 we don't believe him. We need more Jokic. Because, look, man, you look yeah. at his stats. He was almost 19 last year. He's almost 19 again. Everybody else on the list made a jump. Like, and, again, he's not a two-way player, you know, to give a little bit of context to it. I get it. He, the bubble struck right. But do you expect Jamal Murray to average 25 points next year? I don't. No. I mean, I'm cutting Jamal Murray. You know what I mean? I, I just – I don't believe in it yet. He had a great run in the bubble. More power to you. Hold on. Is, is there anybody? Is there anybody on an all bubble first team that we believe? <laughs> all right, we'll wait. We'll, we'll wait for that. Yeah, oh, yeah, okay. Keep going, yeah. we'll Mo. Keep going, Mo. The, the, the short answer is no, because remember when we talked about it, there were no Lakers, Clippers. You know, all the teams that are contending weren't on that first team. <laughs> um, my my second cut is is Donovan Mitchell, and I like the fact that mentally. He wants to be a superstar. In this new day and age, though, I can't rock with a 6'1", two-guard. And, and, and I'm tired of the comparisons to Dwayne Wade. I like the way that he's played. He did become the best player on Utah. But Dwayne Wade was 6'4", jumping out the gym and averaged over a block a game. Mm -hmm. we, we need to stop it. And the other thing is, if you're going to be 6'1", you got to be a knockdown shooter. He's a credible three-point shooter. He's a streaky three-point shooter. But at some point when the game changes on you and you still 6'1", you're going to become A.I., and it didn't end well for AI at the very end, and they got to build the team around you. So I got to cut Donovan and Mitchell. AI. <laughs> and he's not AI. Uh, and, and he's, he's not AI. AI. AI was a universal talent right. with damn near a seven-foot wingspan at six feet. You know what I'm saying? Like, he had he, he had measurables that dwarfed Donovan Mitchell. And you ain't always going to be coming down the lane dunking on people. So I got to cut Donovan Mitchell. The last two was hard, man. It was uh, obviously between Jason Tatum and Devin Booker, like it came down to with everybody except – so, Joe, and for me, <clears throat> I'm yeah. benching. Oh, I'm sorry. Everybody except who? <laughs> <laughs> a little cough. Got a little cough, a little cough. Any, <laughs> any time a shot can get fired, it's right in there. Just I didn't oh, mean, sorry. I wasn't even fired. No, not you. No, 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 yeah. Remember, <laughs> the friendly, friendly fired still hurts. It That's still right. Hurts. <laughs> <laughs> I am actually benching Jason Tatum. He is a two-way player. I love, the high, I love his 6'8". I love his six, eight. I, lo I love all of that, but I'm going to tell you why I'm starting Devin Booker and bitching Jason Tatum. Because Jason Tatum wasn't always the best player of his own team. That's actually what I was going to say. We didn't discuss that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, word, that was? Yeah, well. It, for real, so for real. It was a version of that. And the reason that I'm, I'm, I'm benching <laughs> Jason Tatum is that you can't tell Devin Booker he's not the best player in the league right now. Jason Tatum still has moments where 
people are giving him pep talks like, go get it, dog. You are the best player on the team. Devin Booker walked into the league coming out of Kentucky as a rookie and was like, yeah, I'm working out with Kobe and I want to go at him. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is about to be my league. And you see it manifest in his stats. You know, he's over 26 a game. His assists have gone up uh, almost every year he's been in the league. He's actually, his three-point percentage is actually down only because he has to take so much in volume. So, so to your point, as the teams gets better, watch his efficiency and his three-point percentage um, go up. But he believes he's the best player in the league. And you look at what happened in the bubble, nobody's going to say that the Celtics or any other team in the bubble was unique, but they went 8-0 and in the bubble. That is not by accident. And they jumped on his back. So I'm, I'm starting Devin Booker, man. I think we talk about who's got next edition. Devin Booker's game will translate as a 6'4", 6'5", athletic guard that can shoot the blood for a long time. True. Yeah, it's good. And, when, and when Devin Booker is smart enough to say, I don't want to be in, 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 uh, in uh, Phoenix anymore, that's when he'll get there. He got to get rid of that Kardashian. He got to get rid of Phoenix. <laughs> and that's when he's ready. Since we did yeah. this, man, we always throw Kardashian in there, and that's always a great place to, <laughs> to end a star bench cut. Speaking cut. of end. <laughs> Kardashian <Wow>. end. <laughs> great man's nation. We want to know who you would star bench cut cut. Hope you enjoyed it. And you can tell, as my man KJ said, we've been sipping, and that's how we do it. We always let you know how we spent our week. You always know what we're sipping on ready for you guys to go enjoy these playoff games. Hopefully you guys had a, a great week. Stay sipping with us and go catch that Graybeard's content on graybeardspodcast.com. You can be part of the show at graybeards100 at gmail.com. Catch us on Spotify. Catch us on Apple Podcasts. Listen, subscribe, rate, and review. Give us those five stars. We are everywhere you need us to be. Go tell a friend to tell a friend. We'll catch you guys next time. Peace. Graybeard Nation. Hey, can we do can we do a Star Biscuit with Kardashians? <laughs>